In this video, we're going to be finding coterminal angles with radian measure. Here is an angle in radian measure, 3 pi divided by 4. In degree measurement, this is the equivalent of 135 degrees. Degree measurement is easy to find coterminal angles. You add 360 degrees to the, to the degree measurement, and then you subtract 360 degrees to give you a positive and a negative angle that are coterminal to the given one. Now in this situation, we're going to be adding 2 pi and subtracting 2 pi from the given measurement. Given 3 pi divided by 4, let's start by adding 2 pi. And this is a process we're going to have to go through a couple of times. We can't add 3 pi divided by 4 plus 2 pi. When you're adding fractions, you have to have common denominators. So we have to take this and rewrite it as a fraction that has 4 in the denominator. Now how do we do that? Well, we're multiplying 1 by, f 1 by 4 times 4 to get us the 4, so to get an equivalent fraction, we're multiplying the numerator by the same amount, and we get 8 pi divided by 4. So this is our equivalent fraction to 2 pi over 1, and now we can use this to do our calculation, and we end up with 11 pi, 3 pi plus 8 pi is 11 pi over 4. It's like 3x plus 8x gives you 11x. These are like terms. The pi will only appear once. Common denominator remains in that answer. So here's our positive angle that is coterminal to 3 pi divided by 4. Now that we've done some of this work, we can use this 8 pi divided by 4 again. We're going to be subtracting it. Again, this is our way of subtracting 2 pi from this angle. And now we have 3 pi minus 8 pi gives us negative 5 pi over 4. And this is how we've gotten a positive and a negative angle, which are coterminal to 3 pi divided by 4. Just quickly, we have another angle here. Seven pi divided by three. And again, we're going to add two pi, and we're going to see subtracting two pi. However, we have to have that common denominator. So two pi over one is equal to what over three? So we're multiplying one times three. We have to multiply two pi times three to get our equivalent fraction to two pi. 7 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3 is now something that we can do. Here is yet another angle that is positive that would be coterminal with 7 pi divided by 3. If we subtract 2 pi, or its equivalent fraction of 7 pi divided by 3 minus 6 pi divided by 3, we end up with pi over 3. And as we can tell, now we have two angles that are positive, and we have a little bit of a problem here. So what we can do is we can take our pi divided by 3 and subtract our 6 pi divided by 3. You're subtracting 2 pi again one more time, and this would give you negative 5 pi over 3. And now we have two positive angles and a negative, which are coterminal with our given angle. And that will be adequate for us at the moment. Just one more. We have a negative radian measure, negative pi over 6. And we need to add 2 pi. And 2 pi over 1 is equal to what over 6? Well, it's going to be 12 pi. So I think we're realizing now that we're just multiplying 2 by whatever the denominator is to get our, our equivalent fraction negative pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6 gives us 11 pi over 6. And now we're going to take negative pi over 6 and subtract 2 pi, which is the same as subtracting 12 pi over 6, and we get negative 13 pi over 6. And that is really the basic procedure for finding coterminal angles when the angles are in radian measure.